Hey guys, it's Nate. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to be diving into a vlog series that documents the build process of this custom guitar. Hope you enjoy. We started this build off with some 130 year old mahogany that was found in an old boathouse that my friend picked up and graciously allowed me to use for this build. I don't have any footage of the rough cutting of the slabs, but after getting both the body and neck cut, I ran both of these pieces through the drum sander to get them smooth and flat. We used a plexiglass jig, which I double face taped to the piece so that the router could create an exact replica of the jig. The router bit that I used was two inches tall and the body was just over that, so I had to take two passes at different heights in order to clean up the edges. Using the same plexiglass jig, I was able to place the holes that would make the internal sound cavities since this was going to be a semi-hollow electric guitar. I accomplished the hollowing out of the body with Forrester bits, which had a ground down tip in order to minimize the gouging left at the bottom of the piece. However, there was still plenty of sanding needed to get it smooth. I cleaned up the internal straight edges with a chisel before moving on to working on the neck. The first adjustment I made to the neck was to route out a channel that would eventually hold the truss rod which would strengthen the neck. In order to do this, I double sided taped two straight edges with just enough space for the router bit to fit to ensure I got a perfectly straight channel in the middle of the neck. After the channel was placed in the middle of the neck, I moved on to rough cuts on the bandsaw to make the neck resemble its final form. I cut all the pieces that I could laying flat on the bandsaw before moving to the angle cuts that would make up the bulk of the neck behind the future headstock. I sanded the angled flat stock cut to ensure that it was completely flat. I then flipped over the neck and cut the back side of the neck on the bandsaw as well. After smoothing out the curves on a spindle sander, I ran the neck on the table saw to make sure that the correct angulations on the side was there and to true up the lines made by the cuts on the bandsaw. Here's a picture of what I accomplished in the first day of the build. The two pieces of canary wood that you saw in the previous picture, I brought home to the shop and began to cut the rough outlines into shape. These two pieces would eventually become the face of the guitar. I used my small 14 inch bandsaw and it worked really well in cutting the large curves that I needed for these face pieces in the canary wood. After the cuts, here was what the two pieces looked like when they were actually pushed together and had the roughly guitar shaped form. Before returning to my friend's shop, I also cleaned up the internal surfaces of the cutouts in the body. The Forester bits left some circular gouges in the piece that needed to be sanded so you would not see them and any other jagged surfaces from the sound hole. My final task at home was to design the sound holes. I didn't want anything that I had seen before, but I wanted to take inspiration from the standard F hole design seen on many string instruments. So my sound hole had some similarities to that design. 
I drew up the final form in plexiglass and then went to work on a scroll saw to get my design made up. While the scroll saw gave me a pretty good idea of what the form was going to be, it wasn't exactly what I wanted so I needed to come through with some files and some sandpaper to adjust some of my lines to get it exactly to where I wanted it. Once I got the design to what I wanted, I marked it out on one side and from there I could measure to mirror the design on the other side perfectly. I used a square and picked about three to four points on the design to make sure it was exactly the same layout, perfectly mirrored on both sides of the guitar face. Once I had a good idea of the placement of the other side of the guitar, I sketched it out in pencil and then when I was sure I had a perfectly mirrored piece, I got an extra set of hands to hold it while I drew the final placement in Sharpie. I cut the circular section of the top part of my design with a forester bit and drilled out the corners for the placement of the pickups and then used a scroll saw to carve both of these sections out. Here's a picture after the two sound holes and the two pickup holes were bored out of both of the face pieces. To finish out the second day, I mounted the two face pieces onto a board so that each piece was flat to one another. I did that so the next day that I would be in the shop, they'd be ready for the rough carving to get the face pieces closer to their final shapes. To the people that made it to the end of this video, you're awesome. This is going to be the first part of this vlog series on the guitar. So stay tuned, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and then leave a like. It takes you only a couple seconds to do that, and it really helps my channel grow. So thanks guys again for stopping by, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.